exciting proceedings in the Euro STC. Fortunately, only the race of Bruno that I have uh, the contact with uh, Tarquini was not so good because we lose uh, much points. But uh, until now, I think uh, he's good. Only Lagini has a little bit uh, of big gap and uh, we'll really see because the season is a little bit uh, trickle and uh, you can gain a lot of points, so we will see. Well, of course, Colchagio's four-wheel drive Audi has a slight advantage in the damp conditions over the front and rear drive rivals, but it's not always the case that the four-wheel drive is faster. They have advantage on the wet, especially on the slow corner, because in the fast corner sometimes we have a lot of weight more than the Alpha and the and the Honda is not so good. But uh, usually you can break later and uh, gain some uh, some tens that uh, in the end of the lap you need. It's, he helps also in the stall because you don't have wheel spin, so of course you, he, he helps also in the stall, but uh, especially in the wet condition, in the stall is much better, and uh, when you need the traction, uh, it's much better. Well, unfortunately for Colchagio's Audi, Silverstone was gloriously baking sunshine, and technical problems reared their ugly head as well. Well, did not make the grid for the first Euro STC race. He was in the garage sweating as the team raced to change an engine in time, a race in which they failed. Gabriele Tarquini, who knows the British racing climate well, may not have raced at the Grand Prix circuit at Silverstone since 96, but still was able to take pole position in the Honda. Nicola Larini didn't set a time after gearbox problems in qualifying. He did qualify himself for the race, so he would start from the back. Newcomer to the championship, Matt Neal from Manny Court, also faring well here in his Nissan Primera, lining up in fourth place as Tarquini took the lead. Fabrizio Giovinardi, Fabrice Valfish and Matt Neal giving chase ahead of Gianluca Di Lorenzi's orange and white BMW. The lap in and Tarquini already two seconds ahead. All eyes though on Lorini to see how far he could come up the order as Matt Neal took third from Fabrice Valfish. Lorini was soon working his way up the order. Gianluca De Lorenzi unable to hold out against the powerful Alfa Romeo. And through into bridge two corners later making the move on Toccacello. That was for fifth. Larini from stone last was already well up in the points. Well, there was no touching Tarquini's Honda here. He won comfortably from Fabrizio Giovinardi and Matt Neal. But he couldn't stop the relentless prog progress of Larini up the order. If only, I'm sure, Tarquini had hoped you could have got points for how much you win by. Sadly, you don't. So on to race two then, later in the afternoon, and still bright sunshine and high temperatures at Silverstone. It'll be a two-wheel drive race, that much is certain. Romana Bernardoni starting at the front on the reversed order grid, Sergio Sambatara in the Audi. At the start, it's Eric Cairol who gets away well. The multicolored BMW coming around the outside of the Audi to take the lead as Romano Bernardoni has a truly appalling start, losing eight places into the first corner. Contact between Sambataro and Matt Neal puts the Nissan on the grass. That will hinder his chances of racing up the field. He made a great start in the second race and then was dropped almost down to the tail. Gabriele Tarquini also making a storming start in race two. Lap three, he was past Eric Cairol for the lead as Roberto Colciaggio, who failed to start race one, failed to finish race two, courtesy of a broken gearbox. End of lap three, Giovinardi versus Larini for third place. Don't forget these men, teammates they may be, are championship rivals just like everyone else. Lap four. Giovinardi passing Eric Cairol for second place. Cairol fighting another great rear guard action as he had done at Manicure two weeks previously. 
Lap four, Nicola Lorini passing K Roll for third place. It seems the elderly BMW really has no answer for the best super tourers that there are. And nobody had an answer for the speed of Gabriele Tarkini. After three meetings of either win or crash, Tarkini finally put together two race finishes at Silverstone in succession, and they were both wins. Giovinardi took second in race two from Nicola Lorini, but that was a great boost for confidence of Gabriele Tarkini. He's sure that it's my first double but it's the first time uh, that I reached the finish twice, so it's uh, good for the optimistic for the future. My car was uh, always in, uh, in a different track, very competitive, so I'm still optimistic uh, to reach the leader, he's sure. So the championship being led still by Larini, 40 points ahead of Giovinardi. Giovinardi. Gabriele Tarkini, who's been seesawing in and out of the top half dozen, now posts himself up into fourth place. And it's an Italian triumvirate that's received their awards from the Eurosport chairman at Silverstone.